Hello, most of us will see plenty of May sunshine through the rest of today, largely dry as well. But the winds are coming in from the east, as indeed they will be doing for much of this week. And it's in the east where we'll also see a few showers. We'll start to see one or two drifting in by lunchtime across parts of East Anglia. They'll get a little heavier as we go through the day, particularly across parts of southeast England. But away from the southeast and East Anglia, most places looking dry and fine. Some sunny spells, a bit of cloud here and there, and generally temperatures not doing too bad at all, getting into the mid to high teens. We could, like yesterday, squeak a 20 in one or two places, but it does always feel colder on those North Sea coasts, and that is going to be a big feature of the weather through this week. A feature of the weather through the evening rush hour, heavy showers developing across parts of the Midlands, southeast England, one or two through the evening drifting into parts of Wales. They'll steadily fade away before the next batch of cloud and outbreaks of rain trickles into East Anglia in the southeast through the early hours. It'll be a chilly old night as well. Temperatures down to uh, single figures quite widely in some rural spots across Scotland where the winds fall light. Well, we could just about see a touch of frost. Those winds continue to come in from the east through the course of Wednesday, meaning a lot of cloud across eastern parts of England and further outbreaks of rain. Quite a dull, damp day here. Uh, the cloud thickening across the Midlands, parts of Wales, but many western parts of England and Wales staying dry. And it's a sunny day for most of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Again, with the sunshine across western Scotland, Often, that's where we'll see some of the highest temperatures. With generally cloudy skies across the east, it's going to feel cool. We may not get above 9 or 10, say, in Norwich. Those chilly winds continue to blow in from the North Sea throughout Wednesday evening. Some showery rain around across the Midlands, again, maybe drifting into parts of the East Wales, but for many, it will turn dry. Those east or northeasterly winds will be a big feature of the weather throughout this week. It does mean that most places will stay largely dry, but it also means that the warmest weather will always be in the West.